Hey, 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 everybody. Good afternoon. I'm just touching base for a um, a couple of quick minutes. Um, I had a client that asked me to do a video about being impatient. So I figured, why not do it on Facebook and share with all of my uh, social media outlets? As we were talking about being impatient, I shared with her that impatience creates chaos. So many of us are looking for microwave solutions to situations. We are looking for immediate results. Um, and then we become frustrated and then things become chaotic in the process of waiting for those things to come to pass. One of the things that would help, right? And you know, if you know me, you know, I believe in two things. I believe in the power of your words and I believe in the power of your written words. Meaning I believe whatever you speak, that's what you're going to draw. That's what you're going to attract. That's what's going to end up where you would like for it to be. And I believe that when you write it, that you make the vision plain. You don't have time to go and battle between chaotic situation and murmuring and complaining. So here's the deal. If you are believing for something, an action, uh, behavior, someone showing up in your life, money coming, whatever, whatever it is, you know, better career, whatever it is, peace of mind that you're looking for, you can't be impatient. All it's going to do is create chaos. All it's going to do is create frustration. All it's going to do is create um, a longer time for things to come to pass. You have to be willing to have patience. You have to be willing half of the time. Let me say this. Half of the time, people say they want a particular thing. Then they don't want to go to work for it. They don't want to put any actions in. They don't want to have any type of belief system to come to pass. They don't want to anyone to tell them anything or change their thoughts about how they're doing things. They just want it to happen. They want to show up with a plate, popping out the microwave with everything that you want on it, but you hadn't worked for anything. You haven't put a belief system in place. You hadn't written anything down. You hadn't spoken anything. The truth is you don't even know what you want, Right. If you know what you want, start speaking that. If you know what you want, start writing it down. When you start desiring what other people have, and then you don't have any steps to move forward on it, you're going to run into some chaos because you're going to be impatient. You don't know what other people have done to manifest things for themselves. You don't know what they've spoken to, how they've sacrificed. You don't know any of that. You're just seeing the end results. I used to share with people all the time. Everybody wants to have the benefits of being uh, rewarded from the cross, but nobody wants to get the nail prints in their hands. Nobody wants to go and do the work. Everybody wants all of these gifts. Everybody, I sit back and I listen to people talking about when they're going in one business and the other business and this, that, and the other, and they see everything going on. They want what others have already sacrificed and worked for, but they don't want to put the work in. Impatience creates chaos. You go in, you start looking at, oh my God, I want to have this. I want to experience this and I want to do this and that and all this kind of stuff. But you don't have a plan. You hadn't even talked to the people that have achieved the goals that you're trying to achieve um, because you don't want to humble yourself. Because you don't want to look like you don't know. Well, you don't. You don't know what it took for them to get where they need to go. Uh Why not tap into the gifts that they already have? But the big key to that is... You got to be humble. You got to be patient. And you got to stop acting like somebody owes you something. Somebody must tell you something. Somebody must show you something. You know, you got to study to show yourself. Proven. Committed. You don't want to set up a situation where you're impatient that you want to pick up the phone and call people for shortcuts but you're not willing to give anything else out. That's an unbalanced relationship. 
There is a disconnect there. Why would you want that? You don't. Learn how to operate yourself in patience. You lay some foundations. Write down what you want. Start believing in your heart. Start speaking it for yourself and see what happens. Impatience, it creates chaos. If you don't want to walk in chaos, you got to start making preparation and you got to start planning. Y'all be easy, running through the day. I hope you're taking good care of yourself because you deserve that. And if you're not, stop and take care of yourself. See you on the next video.